To create custom objectives, first you have to create the objectives.xml file. This can be created by using programs such as Notepad. Fill it in with the codes as shown on the screen. Instead of level name, type in the name of the level which you are creating, and fill in the details. Save the file as objectives XML in the following path. Crisis. Game. Levels. Your level name, in this case it is. Crisis. Game. Levels. O-R-E. Load your level in the sandbox editor. Place two proximity triggers on the map. They can be found under Entities Triggers Proximity Triggers After placing the proximity triggers, move each to the desired location. Place the first one where you want the objective to begin and the second one where you want the objective to end. In this case, our objective begins at the tree and ends when the player goes near the rock. After doing that, it is time to place a mission objective entity. This can be found under Entities Other Mission Objective. Place the entity where you placed your second proximity trigger. The reason being that the location of the mission objective entity shows in game on the mini map as the green flare telling the player where to go to in order to complete the objective. Select the mission objective entity and in the roll-up bar, scroll down till you see Entity Properties. Under that, in Mission ID type the following. Level name. Dot. Objective. Underscore. Zero one. For the first objective to be activated. In this case it is. O-R-E. Dot. Objective. Underscore. Zero one. Select the mission objective entity. And create a flow graph for it. Add the mission objective entity and both the proximity triggers to the flow graph. Create the flow graph as shown. If you want to end the game, add the end level new node. If you want to continue, repeat the above process. Save all files. Remember not to save the flow graph as objectives XML as this will overwrite another file. Save it as another name.
If you did it right when you go in game, the objective should show up on the HUD when you cross the trigger. It should also show up in the mini map and on pressing the TAV key. Remember to set the triggers to activate only once. This concludes the tutorial. Thank you.